Basic income discussions spurred by pandemic stimulus checks under both former President Trump and President Biden are gaining momentum across the states, but the idea is not universally accepted. Minnesota is considering establishing a universal basic income, with lawmakers proposing a pilot program to allocate $100 million to support their residents. If approved, the program grants $500 monthly over 18 months, targeting individuals and families with household incomes at or below 300 percent of the federal poverty level. Republican State Representative Ben Davis criticizes the basic income proposal and similar initiatives, arguing that free money could reinforce negative behaviors and the idea lacks safeguards against potential misuse. The bill is still making its way through the Minnesota House of Representatives. Meanwhile, in the South, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is trying to block a new guaranteed income pilot program called Uplift Harris. The program, slated to start next month, provides roughly 1,900 households in Harris County a similar $500 monthly payment for 18 months. In his lawsuit filed in Houston, Paxton dubbed the Harris handouts unconstitutional, calling them an illegitimate government overreach. There's no such thing as free money, especially in Texas. The Texas Constitution expressly prohibits giving away public funds to benefit individuals, a common sense protection to prevent cronyism and ensure that public funds benefit all citizens. Harris County joins San Antonio, Austin and El Paso County as the latest Texas region to test basic income pilot programs, offering financial support to qualifying low income families.